Hi guys, welcome to Exclusive Iron Doors. Today we're going to talk about our glass options and we can evaluate which one is best for your project. Okay, so we're going to start with our most private option. That option is going to be the frost glass. The frost glass is going to show you this opaque look but it's going to also give you a smooth option to feature on your unit. So this one if you see, if I place my hand behind, you're not able to see much. It's just going to show a little bit of a shadow but that's it. So this is a great option if you're looking for privacy or uh, to showcase a specific area of your home. Okay, our second uh, most private option is going to be the rain glass. As you can see, this has a really tight pattern on it and you cannot see much to the other side. So if I put my hand behind or if, I, if you, there's a person or whoever, it's going to give you the privacy you're trying to achieve but yet you're going to have this beautiful pattern to show with your unit. Okay, so our third option is going to be the Apotex and personally I, I like a lot this glass. So this glass, is, it has like a hammered uh, finish to it and so this one will give you some privacy but you will still be able to see like a silhouette of who is on the other side. So if I put my hand in here you can see sort of the silhouette that it's showing and then you're going to be able maybe to recognize if you know the person who is outside but it still give you some privacy so that way you can like just have like this distorted image of the person and 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 still have this beautiful look on your door with the with the pattern okay so our fourth and almost last option of glass it's going to be the Flemish. So this is not the least private because of course you have clear, but this one is going to give you uh, like a watery uh, effect. So as you can see, it has like this big open drops and so it gives you a distorted image. It doesn't really give you a lot of privacy, honestly, because uh, you're able to see who is on the other side. It's going to be a bit distorted, uh, but a lot of people which don't mind much about the privacy, they, they, they want to have this beautiful piece and then they can also like showcase the beauty of the unit. So if you put the hand behind, you can see like it's almost, you can see almost through, but you can also see like a distorted uh, form and so it gives you that watery look that a lot of people love. Okay, so our uh, last and less private option is going to be the clear glass. This glass is featured in a lot of our units. Uh, some people use it for the wrought iron if they don't mind a lot about privacy and they, that way they can showcase uh, the design of the door. Uh, and some people also love it for our Riva line. Uh, in our Riva line, honestly, uh, you only go from uh, this to the frost and that's as far as you can go so that way you can like really uh, get the look that you're striving for. Okay, so now we want to show you the options you have when you choose a wrought iron door. Okay, so when, go, when choosing a uh, wrought iron product, you can choose from two options. You have the fixed glass panel and you have the operable glass panel. The beauty of going with the operable glass panel is that you have three features. The main one is going to be that you have safety because you're able to open from the inside and then uh, really have something in between between the stranger that's outside and, who, uh, and yourself. And then the second thing is that you're all also uh, able to have uh, some ventilation so you can open this uh, and both, uh, actually both uh, glass panels and have some like just breeze coming to your home and natural light. And then the third thing is that for cleaning purposes, uh, it really helps you out. So that way you just open it, clean the glass and you don't have to go between the scroll work to do this. So when you also choose the operable, you can ask your rep to let you know if you can add a screen to it uh, and how much it is. So that way with the screen, if you don't want bugs coming in, but you still want to have that uh, ventilation and everything, uh, you can have that screen in between the wrought iron and the glass, and that will give you everything and keep the bugs out. 